it's crazy, man, because I, I just did a podcast about it recently. Like just about a year ago, I was washing dishes at a restaurant and just the mental like difficulty and like sort of the demoralization of that, knowing that I could achieve more and getting from that point to here has like changed my life. Like it's made me like a different person, you know, it's uh, it, you know, I feel like everybody has to be very grateful for what they have. And it's like to be working in podcasting on any level, that's maybe 1% of the world, but to be working in podcasting and not to be you, not to be Rogan, that's less than 1%. You know what I mean? Listen, uh, the joint isn't what the church was, you know, and I, and I come to grips with that and I'm not upset or anything. This is a new beginning for me, you know? So, but I am very lucky that, I have been podcasting for 10 years, you know, and uh, I love doing it. I know what I'm doing, and it feels great. But I wash dishes. It was humbling. I wash dishes in prison. There you go. That's a different level. 35 cents an hour. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's when you know you ain't shit, you know. And then I, before that, I washed dishes for John Denver at his restaurant up in Aspen, the, I forget, the Snowmass Village. Oh. But I used to wash dishes, and I remember as I was washing them, Thinking about building character. Hmm. Like this was 83 when I would right. wash. I would wash dishes on Tuesday nights. It was prime rib night. I took the job because the chef liked me and he goes, I'll give you all the mistakes. I was lifting mm-hmm. weights. So I like prime. I would eat 19 of those prime <laughs> ribs with horseradish. Every then night. I would, then I would steal a pound of shrimp. No, I only work Tuesdays. And then they okay. said, you know, come in Thursdays for lobster night. Right. So I would go right. on, on Thursdays you for had the good nights. Night. Yeah, I had the good nights. But <laughs> I still remember washing dishes and being proud. Yes. Like I told people, I'm washing dishes part time at the whatever, and they would go, But you're an electrician in the daytime. Who gives a fuck? It's right. ten bucks an hour and they feed me. I don't have to buy groceries. I don't have to mm-hmm. buy groceries. I, That's I, a pretty I, good deal at the time. You know, and I would take a pound of shrimp at home at night, and I'd take a shower, and I'd fucking do my little shrimp cocktail while I was watching USA or whatever the fuck I was watching. <laughs> and then I had to wash dishes in prison, and that was, you know, he used to fucking abuse me from time to time. I used to have to wash dishes in the morning, and then I'd break them, or I'd break <laughs> the fucking machine on purpose. But it Buy yourself wa- some time. Washing dishes humbles you. Oh, it does, Joey. And and just to be clear, like when I say I found it demoralizing, it's not because of washing dishes. Like I was trying to be the best dishwasher I could. And the only reason I had issues with it is because I worked at a very uppity restaurant. So it wasn't the type of restaurant where we're all a team. It was the type of restaurant where if you're doing sort of that type of work, you're like you're worthless. Essentially right. is how you were treated, you know. Um, but what really what it taught me was not that it's a bad thing. It's like I have more respect for those people than I ever thought. I could like the people who actually commit to doing a good job and they take pride in going in there every day. And this is their career. Like it it gave me an appreciation and a respect for that, which like, I think that a person needs, you know, when a person's doing a job, that's kind of weird and you meet them and they start talking to you and they're really solid people. You really look at that job a lot yeah. differently like you're like wow yeah you know he's really proud of his job it's like what's going on now with the police department you know mm-hmm. everybody's hating on cops listen there's bad cops but then there's cops that'll take a bullet for you are you yeah. that fucking stupid there are cops that will go into a fire and grab you out of there that you know in every field there's good and bad you know exactly I tend to attract to the you know I, right now, I hang out with a detective in Newark and a detective in Union, hmm. and they are, I look at them and I admire them when they tell me about their jobs and how they had a homicide. Some guy told me they shot a 16-year-old kid in Newark last week, wow. but it was you know from a car, you know, and he had to wow. go. And and while I was talking to him, I was thinking about walking up on a body, seeing a kid's head blown up. You know, but what that's the, like that's what that's like. Meanwhile, you're over here yelling defund the fucking police or whatever. You know, think exactly. about I always think about what the cop saw before he came to your house. You know, mm-hmm. did he see a kid crying and all of a sudden now he has to answer a domestic violence call and, you know, all the shit that they see. And it's called the moment before it's even used in acting. 
Right. Like the moment before. What was that person doing before? That's why whenever I look at a scene, I always think, of, all right, so before I walked up on this body, what was I doing before? What was I thinking about? Did I have an argument mm. with, my, with my wife? Did I have an argument with somebody else? You know, it's like right. when you're driving and you cut somebody off and they give you the finger. You know, what just rage. happened to that person? Right. What just ha yeah. What did he just go through? Did his wife just divorce him? Did his wife just serve him? Did he just find his wife in bed with a fucking midget? <laughs> what what fucking happened? You know, Could he's be driving anything. down like, why would she do a midget? I got a big <laughs> six foot dick, you know. And, and then you like, come pulling up in front of him. <laughs> yeah, and you go like, fuck you, and what you, what's going to happen the moment before? So exactly. it's, really, it's, it's really important that. Uh, it's almost like you're dealing with a different person every day. It's like there's touches of their everyday personality, but it's like the person you deal with that day is mostly almost shaped by what has happened leading up to that day and how long it's going to take for that to wear off. So yeah, it's a very interesting. It's interesting that they would use that in acting. Like I would hear Gandolfini would like smack himself in the face before an angry scene or something and then walk in there, you know, like, so that makes a lot of sense. You yeah. Know? It's the moment before it's like right now we have a world that's a little crooked, you know, uh, you guys, I don't know if you watch the NBA. I just, Heard the Not last really. couple of weeks that people were throwing things at players and they got ejected like sodas and fucking what? Yeah, yeah. Two two people got charged. I think it was like two separate incidents. You know, been cooped up. I've never thrown a fucking thing at a professional basketball player. My mom threw chicken wings at Rusty Stab, but she was a fucking <laughs> savage. So it, she that was called in, for at the time. Yeah, it was called <laughs> for. He missed the call and fucking she lost three hundred. I'll throw a chicken wing at you too, but I think that. Right now, you really have to be very careful with people. People have been in. People have lost jobs. People people are not okay right now. No. We're not okay. You know, I, I try to smile at everybody. I try to wave at everybody. I try really hard lately because I know people are hurting. I'm hurting. I'm hurting right. over who knows what, you know, whether it's the move, whether it's coming home. So lately I've been very, that's why I don't want to do stand up right now. It's, right. Long hiatus, but it's, it's a, needed, man. It's needed. It's needed. You know? I, you know, I need the little break, but I'm already itching. I'm mm. going to watch a show this weekend. Some are friends you? of mine are in town. I'm thinking of going to see Burt Kreischer when he comes July 17th. Nice. You know, just to go see them. And I hope that by the time the Soprano movie comes out, I'm well, and I could fucking get back on stage. 